we control the plugins in our profile in two different sections. The first section where we deal with the parameters of the plugin is here. We have to be in insert mode to enable these encoders as plugin control. These switches control which of the four plugins we're going to work on. Let's start with the Pultec EQ. So first I choose my low frequency. Then next to it I have boost and attenuate. All of the plugin parameters can be controlled from these eight encoders. And you can see the values and the names of the parameters in the OLED beneath the encoders. Let's choose another plugin and see how it maps. This is the PF76. It's a pretty straightforward compressor. You can see all of the values and names are here on the encoders and OLED. Third one up is the Mugger Fugger. It's a phaser. Again, we can control all of the parameters with the names and values of those parameters beneath on OLED. There's a couple of switches, and to find those switches, I have to press on the encoder. No, oh, not that one, this one. That will change the value of the switch. The last plugin on the channel is the Revibe. I wanted to show this one because it has a lot of parameters, obviously way more than the eight encoders we have here. And the first eight encoders on the screen have a little red light on them to indicate that we're controlling those values. To get to the other parameters of the plugin, I just step through the pages, and as I go through the pages, the red lights change, and it shows me which parameters I'm controlling. Eventually, I will get to the one that I need to get to, and can work on that. So, previous and next pages to run through them, parameters on the encoder, little red lights on the screen to tell me where they are. Of course, there's one other way that I can control the plugins, and that's directly with the mouse on the screen. You can see now that I'm using the mouse to change the parameter values in the DSHOW software. Let's compare that to the SXL. Floor 1 is the selected channel. I'm going to jump over to the plugins page and you can see in the center screen that I have the same four plugins that I had on the profile. I select which plugin I'm going to work on using these red encoders on the left hand side of the note module. So let's start with the pull text. Frequency select, boost, attenuation. Exactly the same parameters, a little bit more responsive on this desk. High frequency, boost and attenuation. You can see how they've been mapped out to be in exactly the same position, one, two, three, four, five, six, as the encoders in the GUI. The layout changes when we select the 76. We have the input and the output next to each other where you'd expect them to be. You can change them at the same time. Attack and release ratio. The Mugo Fuga clearly shows the graphic layout. I have all seven switches and knobs in the correct order, and I can adjust all of them, including the switches right here on the knob module, mapped carefully to correspond with the picture of the plugin. The revive looks like this on the SXL. You can quickly see we have size, time, reverb level, all laid out exactly where you'd expect them to be. Diffusion and spread. You can work on them together, of course. Across the bottom, we have pre-delay, attack time, attack shape, and rear shape, in exactly the same order as they are in the plugin graphic. And even though I've got 32 encoders compared to eight with the profile, I still need extra pages for the revive because it has so many parameters. I change the pages here, and just like in the profile, the red lights in the GUI indicate which parameters I'm controlling, and the names and values are in the OLEDs above each of the encoders. The third and final page gives me the least used parameters, but again, they're laid out intuitively to make sense. I go forwards and backwards through my plugin pages here to access the parameter I need to get to. I change my plugins using the red encoders on the left right here. Of course, like the profile, I can control the plugins directly on the screen with the SXL. As well as using the mouse, I can also use my finger because we have an HD touchscreen attached to the desk. We can choose the plugin we want to work on. We can dive in and grab some parameters with the finger and move them. Knobs. Sliders. It's very intuitive and touch friendly. Let's go back to the pool tech. Choose that one. Start moving some parameters. You can see it works really well. So that's it. That's plug-in control on the SXL versus the profile.